Hello everyone, my name is Zupub, and I'm about to do draft number 22 in the Artifact 2.0 beta. I think my rank is like, what is it at? Whoa, there we go. Archon 1, okay. I lost my last two games, that's right. I don't know if I'm playing anyone good. But, I'm enjoying the game a lot, and thanks for joining me for episode 22. And remember, I always stream on Twitch and then upload videos to YouTube, so make sure to check out my links under the video. Appreciate all your support. But yeah, I'm like halfway. Or so. I think through the uh, rare cards, and then I'll start to be able to unlock epics. I guess I do have Rubik from Epic. I think that's it. But I have three more heroes. Only a few more cards, and then I gotta get three of every card. Should be fine. It should be fine. But I'm searching right now. I don't want to tell them I'm searching. Let's look at some of the rare cards I've just unlocked. There might be some stuff I don't know. The Spirit Vessel I haven't used. It gives you 9 health. It costs 25 gold. It's really expensive. 1 mana. I don't know if rarity is indicative. I think rarity is indicative when you upgrade this shop. So you'd have to upgrade it a lot. You need a lot of gold. So this is a very late game item. It gives you a mana in the lane. Whenever a hero dies out of charge. If you spend a mana, and you can spend it whenever you want. Uh, spend a charge. Give an enemy 4 decay or 4 regeneration. It's a great item, for sure. It's going to be so fun to see some constructive stuff. I'm not a big constructed fan, so don't expect to see me playing any constructed. I'm only limited. You can come here to watch me play limited. But I'll watch some YouTube stuff on some constructed. It's going to be crazy with these items, for sure. Um, I haven't yet. I'm, I'm really into limited. I've watched some uh, videos on limited. Um, but overall, I really like, uh, the way Limited is headed. I hope you're gonna have more control over the draft, like, the cards and everything. Other than that, I like where it's going. I actually like the way the hero draft goes right now. Like, I could see that being part of another draft or something. Or even have maybe, like, oh man, I, I have, I have ideas. Anyway. Nullifier. Two armor, two regeneration. Activate three, so it costs. You can only cast it every three turns. Cost of mana. Purge opponent's effects from an enemy unit. So you can make something normal again. Lose all their effects, which would be really good against like a Sven. All right, Silver Edge. Disable passive abilities on the enemy in any lane. Battle that enemy. Um. Interesting. Anyway, boy, it's his pick first. Good, because I would have a hard time picking here. I think I'd pick the PA. Yeah, I most definitely would pick the PA. But I could see someone picking Rix or Lena or Tidehunter. It's close. The PA I don't love just because it's less tower damage, but it's a pretty good card. It's it's in the middle of the pack, if not a little higher than the middle of the pack. I got to make a tier list. Yeah, since he picked the PA, it doesn't... Well, I, I need to not pick based on what he did. But if I do pick black, black will be contested. But I like Bounty Hunter. I think Bounty Hunter fits the role the best here. Everything else is kind of situationally. But Bounty Hunter could be a three or four hero. We have an option to pick the Shadow Fiend. If we don't pick the Shadow Fiend, he can pick the Shadow Fiend. I don't have a big problem with that. I really like Ursa. You can have Shadow Fiend. Yeah, go for Shadow Fiend. See, I have nine base attack right now. He'll have seven. And Shadow Fiend can increase, but I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's all gonna work out. So it's his pick twice. His name's Brain Ass. Brain Ass. The big brain is winning again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like Storm Spray here. I think movement has been severely buffed since they decreased the amount of TPs you get from tower damage, so. I think I have to take Storm Spirit here. I think it's a great pick. I don't love him, but this pick, it's good. It makes sense. Oh, Bloodseeker, gimme, 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 gimme. Timbersaw's really good. 
But I want to gimme, gimme, gimme that Bloodseeker. I love Bloodseeker. He can take the Timber Saw easy now, but it doesn't really counter me that bad. A Timber Saw. This is great. I would like Timber Saw, but Bloodseeker is probably my favorite black hero. Because he has five base attack already, so his base attack's already great. And then it increases from his passive if the other enemies are hurt. And it's great against a red deck. It's great. Oh, and a tiny for five? Let's go. I could anti-mage on the five too. But tiny in the five, I think, is actually really great. This deck is working out. Oh, and Debbie? Oh my god. Game, just give me everything. So I would never... Well, he never took the Timber. He took Marana and Sniper. Oh, yeah. Okay, I, I think I need to take the Debbie. I almost like Debbie more than Bounty. Or Storm Spirit. Yeah, okay. Here's how we're playing this. Storm Spirit's cut. He was fun. I like him. I could put him in for the Bounty. But his card's kind of weak, to be honest with you. Ball Lightning? It's good... But it's it's just it's just kind of weak. I don't know how to explain it. So um, that's the best way to explain it. So uh, Debbie is just a better all-around hero, in my opinion, because she's doing tower ramping and she grows um, with her ability. So I'm gonna put her in the three. Bounty Hunter will come in in the four and kill. Ursa will be my two because he's the strongest. And Bloodshaker will be here. He might try to kill my Ursa, but that's fine. Then I'll have deploy on the Ursa. This bound this PA can kill anything it wants, basically. So there's nothing I can do about that. Might as well be the Ursa. And lower the PA's armor or something. I don't know. But yeah, that PA should come out three. If it doesn't, it's crazy. Yeah. This is cool. All right. So we'll Bloodseeker. All right. So he has Phantom Lancer. Doesn't really matter. Let's go on the edge. Nice. Got him. I mean, I did want to hit him, but that's awesome. <laughs> All right, well, Ursa doesn't matter where again. He acts. All right, see, like I said. And then we'll just Debbie way in the wing. Way in that wing. Go in that wing, Debbie. All right, so kill the Ursa like we thought. Maybe we'll be able to save the Ursa. There we go. Nice. So we can just overpower the PA, and then they'll trade. Proceed to combat in this lane. All right, so definitely want to overpower right away. So that PA has no armor whatsoever. It's going to have minus three armor. Boom. Boom. Death comes for you. <laughs> now it's down to one health. I almost killed it. Because it lowers its armor every time. I will fight by your side. Oh, whenever it deals battle damage? I thought it would get more... First type sign three. Minus three permanent. So why is it minus one? Shouldn't it be minus three? I don't know, we'll, we'll find out. Maybe it'll resolve. Uh, let's just put the courier down, because why not? There's no way to kill the courier right now, is my understanding. It says tower enchantment, but I think that's a misinformation. They said they're going to create a new role for it. I think they're like going to evolve the game a little bit. There we go. Oh, he ended up killing my blood, so I didn't even notice. It's fine. I don't know what he did. Oh, he did this. There you go. Legion Standard Bearer. I love phase boots. I have 18 gold too, so I should be able to get these. I could upgrade, but it's fine. Phase boots are really multi situational. They do a lot of good. Alright, Bounty Hunter, I could put just right on the axe. It seems like a good play. So we'll do that. Yeah, he re Bounty Hunter is really good at removing big things. Oh, it doesn't kill it? Oh, it's eight. That's okay, we can shadow wall. Oh no, we can't. We could phase boost Bounty Hunter though. Shit. Just what I was looking for. Shit. Oh, I could double bounty the axe. Okay, here we go. Let's phase boots. Here's what we're gonna do. This is crazy. We're gonna phase boots bounty hunter. And we're gonna shadow walk him. Wow, he's really stacking this lane. We could also pit fight over here. When a neighbor dies, gain three attack permanently. That's not going to help us. So we'll shadow walk bounty hunter. It's fine. He's going to come back to my hand next turn. Get full health. I'm going to put him back. He's going to get double bounty. I 
And I have three deployed next turn. And I have initiative. Okay, cool. Go into combat. So he's going to be down to one. I'm going to redeploy the bounty hunter. Alright, healing blade seems pretty good. Or staff might be good, but I mean, my discreets might be good too. I could put it right on the Debbie. Debbie, 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 can't you see? Let's just get healing blade. Alright, bounty hunter again on the axe. He's gonna have double bounty. Well, Bloodseeker somewhere. Doesn't matter where. We could do it on the sniper, but then Bloodseeker would die. So we probably wanna do tower damage. Let's just start ramping up the tower, like, over here. And we'll just Ursa in the wing, maybe? Oh, we'll block the sniper. This way they trade. There we go. Oh, this Legion Standard Bear is a problem. Oh, we can overpower the sniper. Perfect. Let's just do that right away. It'll kill the sniper. Although he does want to uh, kill my tiny. He might be able to kill my tiny if I don't activate it. But I want to overpower that sniper because it would do one, two. Yeah, it would kill it, I think. Pretty sure this would kill it. Uh, but yeah, let's just do it. It's too good. Face me. There we go. See ya. All right, cool. And it loses all that armor permanently. You Group won't bad. feel a thing. Oh, it's to grab the blood seeker. Perfect. See ya. All right, and then I'm gonna activate this. Cool. Did he not know I have grow? Sweet. All right, my turn. So, I probably just want to get this healing blade on something. Just to do more damage. Um, there's nothing to heal. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, let's put it on... What's best? Tiny. Let's make Tiny strong. Oh, Sven was hurting it. Perfect. Oh no, it's heal four. Never mind. It doesn't work. Sven's still cleaving it. I thought this would help for a second, but uh, never mind. I apologize. That's my bad. <laughs> right, we're going to get a lot of gold from this axe, because he has no mana, so he has no way to move him. I still have a mana. Oh, proceed to combat. Sorry. My bad. So I think we're doing pretty good. He's getting through for, for some damage for sure. We have 24 gold, so I'll upgrade the shop's one gold. Let's do that. Necronomicon might be great here. Or this one. Which one's better? This one's probably better. This one's better. What zombies are one one. These are one two, deal one damage to the closest lane. What are these? Oh, this is instead of melee creeps, I see. I still kind of like this. These do more damage. No, they both do the same amount of damage, right? No, these do less damage, but these kill the other creeps at the start. Uh, it's close. Okay, let's get this one. This lets us fill the lanes better. Oh, I could put that right here. Kinda wanna put this somewhere where it deals damage. No one can match my strength. We wanna put this on the Ursa. Oh no, we put this on Tiny, never mind, and that lets Tiny live. There we go. We can also toss Sven. Yeah, we're 
definitely toss on that Sven. has to be empty. Can't toss it here. I just toss it here. I could toss it right in front so they trade. Oh, that's fine. And then PA will take a lot of damage, yeah. Let's see. This is fine. <laughs> this will help. Oh, it will help you, huh? That's fine. <laughs> Sven lives. But meanwhile, I'm doing a lot of damage over here. This tower's isn't a lot of armor. That's good. Oh, now we want to play this card. I get it, I get it. All right, what do we want to do? Um, probably Warhorn, but we don't have enough gold. Let's just get more gold, I think. Oh, four staff's pretty good. Let's get four staff, yeah. It's fine. Alright, let's get Bloodseeker. Let's ignore this lane. And get Bloodseeker... On... This thing, right here. Let's try this. Yeah, there's a lot of good plays here. Bloodseeker is really strong. What I'm thinking is. I want to put this over here. These things die and I get through. Or I could put it here, right in front of the Phantom Lancer. I'll kill these creeps, and then I can just move the bounty hunter. This might be a better play right here. I mean, I get through with the 8-8, eight, eight, though, if I do this. But I block the Phantom Lancer if I do this. Oh, but this is going to get through, too. Or I could put it here. Kills these things. And then that's fine. Then he can do damage over here. Yeah, this might be better. He has no deploy, huh? Okay, let's just do this then. We'll block the Phantom Lancer. Kill these creeps, get the Debbie through. And do more. What? Oh, adjacent doesn't mean these guys? <laughs> I thought I would do damage here and here. How come? <laughs> ah, whatever. It's still a decent play. I just thought these things would die. That's fine. Hmm. That's crazy. Alright, he's gonna win this lane right here. I'll win this lane next turn, probably. This sniper is just in a bad spot, to be honest with you. I could put the four staff out, but it doesn't matter. Oh, I could move the axe. Doesn't help me. Could win in the game. <laughs> oh, we give him more attack. Okay, now I'll put the four staff on there, so. Ready to fight. Yeah, let's kill this thing. And then I'll dig, yeah, less damage, perfect. Perfect! Alright, cool. He has no deploy. I'm winning over here. Right, cleave would be good on the bounty hunter. Alright, let's get the cleave.
Can I get both? No. I could get this. Summon zombie in the closest lane. This might be good. I think the cleave is better. I'm not sure. Let's try this. Crown of the Undying. Too. Ooh, Warhorn as well. <laughs> They're all so good. Get Crown of the Undying. Alright, Tiny's going here with the Ursa. Tiny can also grow. Alright, this should be easy. Alright, grow the Tiny first, I think. doesn't I need to get through somehow I can't damn I'm gonna be one damage short here what will they think of next I don't know I right, definitely want a zombie over here though <laughs> I'm one damage away Oh, killed the Debbie. But I can just move the bounty hunter hero over. You ding a ling. Let's uh, shadow walk bounty hunter first. Alright, now he's not targetable. Man, I wish I had a black arrow over here. Alright, let's do that on the sniper. That'll heal the bounty on it. There you go, now Sniper's dead. And we can still crown on the Undying over here, which is what we're gonna need to do. Doesn't matter on which. I guess I should have done it on the Tiny, but whatever. They hunt me, but they won't kill me. All right, I got a blank. You get the blank. We all get blanks. I have to do one damage here. He has to do nine damage down here. He's all creeps here. Okay, what are we thinking? Let's get golden ticket. <laughs> it's gonna be the last turn anyway. Those other two items aren't gonna help me. All right, so I need to put everything in the bottom lane on the most damage. Strat. Remember, I still have Blink. Remember, this creep kills that creep because I have Demonic Archer. That's awesome. Okay, Calling Blade, but I'm still winning in that lane. Um, deal two damage to a unit and give it Feeble. So that's probably really good to do against the Phantom Lancer. But I can't do that uh, because he doesn't have anything in there right now. But right now I'm winning, so I can pass. I just want to make sure there's nothing crazy I can do. Oh, I could do one grazing shot, do one person, do any unit in any lane. I could do that on the PA. It doesn't really help me. Oh, I could do that here. Okay. Interesting. All right, I have a lot of options. I could just proceed to combat in this lane. Oh, that wins me the game. I can just win the game. <laughs> Yay. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Jeez. Awesome. Good game. Nailed it. All right, let's move on to Jeff. Oh, we get a pack. All right, let's check out our pack first. We'll do another draft after. My people have pledged their lives in service to the ancients. No heroes. Offering ourselves to be a tide of flesh that will protect the Radiant from Kana and her dire heretics. Thanks to the blessing of the Radiant, I have become oh. the crushing wave of that tide. And I will give the dire something to fear. So it could be 
a six nine. With five cleave? Is that right? Holy shit, this card's crazy. It's situational, but not really. Cause like, let's say there's two. It's still a three, six. With two cleave? I don't know, that card's pretty nut nuts. Champion of the Ancient. Deal one damage to both towers per charge and add a charge. Enchant enemy, take one damage. Veterans of Insight. Whenever allied units deal battle damage, give them one armor or health permanently. Whenever allied units deal battle damage, give them one attack. Wow. So I'm starting to think that maybe now that I'm getting later in the cards, that blue and green heroes are going to start getting better because the cards are getting better. I think it makes just makes sense. Like red and black heroes have been really strong for me early, but we've also only had like the common cards. So the cards haven't been as good. So all the value has to be, at least in 1.0, was in the cards... So I, you would think green and blue would start getting better for me. So I should start to try to introduce those cards. But another Spirit Vessel. I know a lot of these cards. Um, Gemma Trusai is really interesting. Especially because there's cards that feed off of knowing the opponent's hand. Some blue cards. Another one. Choose a card in your hand. Discard all copies and draw and replace them. Sprig of Mischief, bounce each item from a hero and equip it with cursed items. Wow. Cool. A lot of cool cards for sure. I have another pack? No. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That was a good game. But that Debbie, when she got going on that tower, I love Debbie. Because she ramps the tower. She starts, she does armor to herself, and she does minus armor to the tower. So you put her in that three hole, and then you get Bounty Hunter coming in the four hole, so you have the whole map for him to decide who he kills. He's <laughs> like, so double deployed on X. Oh boy. What's up, Sag? I think I want a Farvan here. I like Shadow Fiend, but these two black and red cards are weak. One attack for each ally in the lane. So you could play Prowler and get two attack. Oh man, I'm not a big green player though. I kind of want to play to win. Mm, I haven't played a lot with Shadow Fiend, and I could always cut Shadow Fiend, so let's take Shadow Fiend. <laughs> Talk myself into that. I could Shadow Fiend in the one. Remember, he deploys as a 4-5. He starts with a charge on this thing. I don't know why it doesn't tell you that. At least I think it does. Sven would be a good pick for me here. Potentially. You got two good black cards, though. I like Sven. Wrath King's interesting here, too. I could Wrath King in the two. Wrath King's a good counter, theoretically, against Bounty Hunter and PA. Alright. I'll try that. Here we go. Finally, a way to get into green. I think he does counter them. <laughs> That's my pick again. Dragon I'm not a big fan of. Stun and deal two damage to adjacent enemy. These, these cars are giving me a rough. Here, let's sniper. Sniper fills my five hole. So I'm picking for position right now, at least. Like, at least I have a team that makes sense. And Wrath King again is going to counter Bounty and PA in the three hole. The only other thing that can stand up to him is like a Tide Hunter. If I saw a Tide Hunter, I'd have to consider it. Timber's interesting too, but Timber dies against these dudes. I like the Animage. But the pack's gonna reset whenever he decides to pick here. What is he thinking? I would pick the Timber all day, every day. Hm. Ooh, I like Lycan, and I love me some Sorlacon. I like both these cards. Sorlacon's one of my favorite cards though. Just like that Debbie. 
And it's great in the 3-4 hole. Lycan, I'm not sure if it's good in 3-4 hole. Sorlock Khan, I can 3 all day. Oh, I don't like Underlord. Yeah, I'm gonna end up cutting this Wrath King. I can see it happening. Oh, Debbie, give it to me. All right, how are we gonna do this? We'll do it like this. Oh, Bloodseeker. Oh, I would just cut the Wrath King. <laughs> Necro sucks. Rix, I could play. Rix, you could play in the two. I, I kind of want to go black. I'm hoping I get a good black card because I'm not. I, I would just find a way to put something in the two hole. Let's just let it die. Like the Rix, I would rather have than Wrath King right here. I think. Interesting. I'm not really sure how I feel. We'll see what cards I get. I'm not picking the Necro. That I know. I mean, this. let's think about this. Is this team good? It might be good. This team might be good. I get damage. I have some sort of defense with this guy. Might, might be good. Hmm. But would I rather have Rix than Wrath King? That's the question. It is more damage. This card is kind of stupid. I could stun enemies, though. Give it to K. I don't know if that's good. I could just Ursa in the two. I like, I like his team better than mine. Can we trade teams? I think I want to rock the Wrath King. Right? No. No. We're gonna... Rix? This is why I want a Rix. I don't know. Let's try that. I'm not sure what I like here. Let's try the Wrath King. I like the Rix because it would do more tower damage. Theoretically, but... This is better. <laughs> the game likes it. Hallelujah! Ha 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 knew. He's too smart for me. Hopefully I'll get something to stop him. I shouldn't have been that predictable. Why did I Debbie first? Oh god, mistakes. <laughs> That's such a bad mistake. Hey, maybe this will work. Oh, here we go. I got two relentless pursuits. <laughs> Oh, I don't have any. Oh, no, I have unblocked enemy here, and then I'll have another unblocked enemy. Here, I got this. I got this. So. We'll relentless pursuit in front of the Dragon Knight. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be just fine. Yeah. Should have reptile investments this turn, but these plays are too good. And then we move the Debbie over to the bounty hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he has something here. I love how I have ba uh, PA on an island right now, which is great. Bounty Hunter's dead, which is good. Uh, he doesn't get my bounty. I right, Shadow Fiend's getting charges. <laughs> Does he not have a solution for this? Oh, he passed! Unbelievable. Alright, Midas Greaves might be good this turn. 13 gold. I could see Midas Greaves being good here. 
I might even save the shadow theme. Okay, I'll rock it. All right, Sorla Khan is going. Where should Sorla Khan go? In the mid? Let's try mid. I don't want to stack the left lane. And I don't want to go in this PA lane. Necro's going to go somewhere here, I think. I can't believe I messed that up so much, and the, the cards just loved it. The heart of the cards. I just had to believe. Time to do, 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 do. Right. Oh, I can no accident the Dragonite? Are you kidding me? That's awesome. And it's going to give a charge to Shadow Fiend? Oh, I can just activate Shadow Fiend's thing. I don't even have to. Alright, awesome. So, or stun an enemy unit, give it to K for two rounds. No. Just... Get, deal two damage to you and give a feeble. Perfect. Right on the dragon. Yep. Right? I just want to make sure it works. I'm... Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, cool. Now <laughs> Shadow Fiend is six. Oops. Oh, he said oops. Oh, cool. He, he made a mistake now. This is good. Now we're even. Hooray. Hooray. Even on mistakes. I won't even say it. I feel bad. No mercy. <laughs> he said no mercy. All right, so I can activate this to get another charge. I also kind of want a Midas Greaves. Assault Ladders would be good here, too. Enemy units with three or less health are feeble. Allies deal one damage on attacking tower. All right. So let's do... Well, if I do this... Yeah, let's do this, because I can't do both. And then I can courier a Midas Greaves still. Or I could carry your Midas screws and Reptile Investments. No, I'd rather Tower Ramp, I think. All right, so let's do that over here. I maybe should have done it in the second lane. But I like the idea of doing it here because I have more points of contact. All right, and then we'll carry your Midas screws. It passes. go. He's got a bounty hunter on that Shadow Fiend. Oh, I can bounce the Shadow Fiend? That's a good idea. With the sniper. I'll put the sniper over there. And then force. Or I could just get force staff for the Shadow Fiend. Perfect. Alright, let's get this. Yeah. We're just going to push that stupid bounty hunter. Oh, we could activate this. Put Sniper down here. And then put the Debbie here with Sorlock on. Okay, I like this plan. Because you have to do two black in each lane anyway. So, here, I'll show you why. And then Sniper's going to activate. So, basically, he's going to bounty hunter the Shadow Fiend. I'm going to activate Requiem of Souls and then activate Headshot. I can always Force Staff and I can always stun Bounty Hunter. With a with, uh, Wraith Fire Blast. This is going great. I'm actually surprised how good this is going. He's going to have some... He's going to mess me up here. I'm sure he's going to mess me up. I like how PA is, alone, like I said, alone on an island. That couldn't have gone better. It was all part of my plan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not what I thought he would do there. What? Why would you not deploy Bounty Hunter on somebody? What is going on? I'm not sure what to do here. Probably stun the Necro. Great, okay. So, I mean, yeah, stun the Necro. You're stunned. So now he has no way to play cards over here. And it does. Uh, 
And I can still force staff and grazing shot. I probably just want a grazing shot this creep. Oh. Ready to prove myself. Oh, yeah. Deal one person damage to a unit in any lane and then one damage to the unit after it. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do that. Right there. <laughs> that like neutralizes this whole attack. <laughs> oh, I should have done on this creep. Oh, I failed. Thank you so much for the host with 17 viewers, dude. Thank you very much. Notra Sheet, I'm assuming you're playing some uh, artifact. I gotta write down your stream. I'll make sure to give you a follow right back and I'll, I'll return the love. Appreciate you guys. Hey, thanks for joining my stream here. It's actually going pretty good. I've made several mistakes, but I, my draft didn't go as good as I wanted, but I seem to have, it all seems to be working out. Um, and I think I'm doing pretty good here. So any feedback you can give me is really good. But I think this is going good. I think I'm just gonna proceed to combat here. Host of Iris is a <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. It's the curse. Looks like I have multiple fights going on. I probably need to force staff something here. I just force staff here. Yeah, this is what we do. We'll force staff here. Oh. You will not escape me! And that'll kill the Bloodseeker. It's a good play. It's a good play. He's gonna have a response though. Oh no, he has no response! Let's go! Alright, this is going good. This is going to be down to 2, this is going to be down to 20. And he only has this one down to 18. It's just PA sitting on an island over here, which is great. Bounty Hunter, he has Attack and Tower too, which is good for me. Shadow Fiend has lived through his bounty. Everything's going good. Alright, um... I think I need a Phase Boots for that. Shadow Fiend. 27 gold, though. We could upgrade easily. Or we can buy and do more things. So buy, upgrade... Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm in. I'm in for the ring on Shadow Fiend too. I think it's. Uh, well, I don't need both though. Oh, I can't do both. Okay. Sorry, I'm the closest creep. You know what? Let's just save. I don't think I need this. Let's save. For something I need. I don't think I need this either. Hope that works out for me. <laughs> All right. So Sorlock kind of have next turn. Definitely gonna end up deploying mid. Steam cannon. That's all of your mana. Okay. <laughs> Deal four piercing damage to any unit in any lane next turn. Um, I guess I can rotate investments. Phase boots the Debbie. Make sure we get in the tower. Seems fine. Or rev to investments. We can just enchant a caster. That's fine. We'll enchant the Debbie. This is Shadow Fiend's card. Oh, because you give it minus two armor with the no active. weapon I can't wield. Okay. All right. I'm in. We'll double do it on the Shadow Fiend. <laughs> so when we TP him over, we can use the active. It's gonna be fun. It gives everything minus four armor. All right, so now we have the TP that we're gonna use on the Shadow Fiend to go right in between these two heroes and then activate his ability. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's go. All right, broadsword seems really good. So does main gauche. 34 gold, can we get both? We sure can. That seems pretty great. Orchid, silence an enemy unit and give it minus three. That also seems really good right now. All right, let's get two of these things then. So this is more overall damage. Let's get, and I don't think I have a lot of attack stuff. So let's get broadsword and orchid. I don't, main gauche's ability of going on top of other weapons is gonna help me too much here. All right, so we don't want to put Sorlakan on top of the po spot we want to put Shadow Fiend on. We'll put Sorlakan in front of the Bounty Hunter. There we go. Perfect. Okay, we have a lot of options here. So, 
what we're really going to do, ultimately, is TP the Shadow Fiend here, and then activate his ability, and it'll go ding ding, it's just going to kill everything. That's ultimately our play, but we have to be careful. Oh, we want to do it sooner rather than later, because one, we have no health, so he could easily kill me. But two, we're also doing a shit ton of damage over in this lane. So, like, worst case, we're just sitting here doing damage. And we could just phase boots the Debbie and force staff something, maybe. Oh, we could just blink scroll back over to the first lane. Okay. Interesting. Deal four damage to a unit. Let's Orchid Debbie. No. <laughs> yeah. I think it'll draw a good aggro on her. And it kills Necro. It's dragon form now? Is it down to five mana? I want to kill this Bloodseeker. Bye bye. I can Enjoy just activate Shadow Fiend's thing here, but I'm gonna no accident Bloodseeker. Try to draw more mana from him. Oh, we got the Shadow Fiend. Interesting, but now he has no mana whatsoever. All right, so still no accident the Bloodseeker. I still have six mana. No target escapes me. I can broadsword the sniper. All right, he's got siege there. Still has no mana, so we'll phase boots here. Right? Yeah. And we can still blink something too. Yeah, so we're gonna blink on Necro. Yeah. And we'll broadsword sniper. Perfect. And that prevents damage to the Start second power. Start whenever you want. Perfect. There's no deploy. Might destroy this tower. I also have no deploy though. Interesting. All right, main gauge seems good now. All right, let's get main gauge. Because we can always cast that on anything, and these guys' attack items are full. I need some creeps. Also, I can silence. Perfect. So this is gonna be a tie? Oh no, he's gonna win. Oh no! I failed. Oh, there's nothing I can do. I had no deploy. Oh, I didn't fail, I didn't have no deploy. It's over. It's over. Oh no, it's not over actually. What am I saying? That's the first tower. All right, so he's down to three mana. Oh, so I can still block him. Oh, I got this, I got this. No, I can't. Damn. Oh. Round start? Alright, well I could play this. Definitely don't need investments. Nothing else I can really do. I can still main gouge the sniper. Down to 10, so I can get it to like 14. <laughs> There's like zero reason to do this. Oh, I didn't know he could steam cannon. 
Shit, he won. Good game, well played. Damn. That was a good game. Hey guys, thanks for checking out my stream though. I uh, upload all my drafts to YouTube. There's a YouTube link under the stream. Man, he did good. Good game to uh, whoever this is. I forget their name though. I'm gonna do one more, I think. But I'm Archon 1, or I was. Yeah, I'm still Archon 1. I'm 1-1 one one today. Bah. Man, getting the harder cards, like the more rare cards, is definitely... It makes the game harder. And it makes the blue cards and the green cards better, for sure. Man, I, I probably could have won that. Oh! Damn you, Rashid! The curse of Rashid lives on! <laughs> and if the volumes are off or anything, let me know. All this stuff is kind of new. The mic's kind of new. The music's kind of new. Because I have to play open source music now. <laughs> but I like the classical music with Artifact. It works out good. Oh, it's Sage again! Probably Legion or Storm Spirit. Interesting pick in Zeus with more better blue cards. Nah. Alright, let's try. I haven't played with Legion in a while. Storm Spirit I like with the movement, but his card. His movement card is kind of weak, even though movement cards in general are improved. I just. Something about him, I just don't love it. I don't love how his ball, his uh, static remnants are feeble. I like how they do two damage. It's just a weird card. It's like super situational. Ooh, Drow. Like an axe in the two. Like a Lena. Lena's kind of like Shadow Queen. You want to get her early so you can build other blue cards around her, like an ogre? Would be good. She just doesn't do a lot of uh, damage. I like Animage. Let's just Animage. Bam. Why, it's my pick again? I'm like a tiny five. I think I like Tiny more than Lich 5. Lich 5 is interesting. Go left or right, 2 damage. 14 damage total. Oof, it is a great card. But his this card is kind of weak. I don't know. I like the Tiny going. Hey, thanks for the follow. I appreciate you, man. Switch on Glitch. I think it's got to be the Tiny. Tiny fits the 5 spot. Animal Lancer is interesting, too. But I think here I would... Any mage maybe in the one. Even though Legion's kind of good in the one too. But he's going green blue, so I could probably Legion easily in the two or three. Let's probably do that based on his draft. If it wasn't for his draft, I might, might be like, I don't know if I can Legion in the two or three. But this is fine. And I also think Keef is pretty weak against them because if they battle themselves, they won't kill each won't kill each other. Sniper is a five hero too, so it doesn't really fit with a tiny. I don't know what I would pick there. Be Farvan, in case I want to switch out to black. Farvan's not bad. Just gotta get good green heroes, so he took Farvan. Oh boy. <laughs> the music pretty much sums up how I feel about this pack right here. Uh, <laughs> I could Keith maybe play Keith. I'm not playing Sniper. Not in that spot. Not with Tiny. I like Tiny. So we'll keep. Maybe we'll keep. Yeah, yeah, Timber's good. Hmm. Problem is... I don't really like any of these either. I, Timber's the best bet here. Ugh. Give me something good. I need a good, like, Bounty Hunter or PA. 
No, no more five heroes, please. There we go. Sword Lycan works. Sword Lycan works. Don't you dare. Don't you dare take that Sword Lycan. I really need it. Need it really bad. Luckily, I don't love his draft too much, but green and blue get better as you increase in rarity, so I kind of feel like his decks might be getting better. Because when you first start off, red and black are really good, but that's because the cards aren't that good yet. So the core heroes are obviously better, but once the cards get better, you'd think blue and green would get better. I've been harping on this for a while now. All right, let's, uh, Sorla Khan. So I really like Sorla Khan in the three position. Super aggressive. Timber's pretty good in the four. Problem is I don't have anything with crazy attack. But I have a lot of attack on the board, so that's good. It should work out because of that. Um, I could switch Timber to the two and get Legion out for a duel in the four. Not sure. I think this is fine. I think Legion's attack just makes it an okay four. And I think this just kind of works. An anti-mage is okay in this one spot because it can move around from the one. I like Timber of the two with the, the armor. He's going to Enchantress probably on the first. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. Alright, let's go ahead in this song. This song's too sad. Let's skip ahead. There we go. That was perfect. I just skipped ahead like five minutes. See, it was going to ramp up. <laughs> Uh, any mage in the middle, right? Yeah. He's gonna prelix on the far side. Almost got him. I'm happy with this to play here. All right, so Timber will put wherever. Again, he's gonna pre. He wants to put this on the edge. I want to hit him. It's kind of good to have Timber on the inside. I can hit creeps if he puts creeps out. And I can just swoop through the whole thing and get in the mid. Yeah, I'm just gonna store like kind on the edge. And I'll put the Legion on the drow. That works out good. See, there's the creeps. Give your units lethal. Lethal the creeps. Oh, assault Towers is pretty good here. Choose a caster. Do you get two damage to a unit in another lane or four damage to a unit in this caster's lane? Damn, that's good. All right, I'm just going to assault ladders, and that's good. Let's courier. All right, he wants to do tower damage. Let's do assault ladders with the sword lock on, because I'm going to put the legion over here anyway. I like phase boots here a lot, so I should take the phase boots. Oh, I don't have gold. Do get gold? When you don't have gold, get gold. Don't upgrade. All right, Legion right on the draw. Easy. Okay. You're no good to me dead. Alright, we'll pick off and duel, but we don't have enough mana. We clear the deck. Give your units lethal to heroes and lethal to creeps. That works. I wish I could save the Sorla Khan, though. Oh, I could toss the Darkseer to here. <gasps> oh, and then the Drow would die. And then Sorla Khan would get through? Yo, next level shit, right? Let's go! You are not my equal. Oh, that works out great. Hell yeah. Perfect.
Sweet. All right, phase boots for sure. Oh, we can get two phase boots? Let's go. <laughs> All right, Tiny is gonna go in front of this guy right here. Pot? Marijuana? What's pot? Pog, okay. <laughs> I live in Denver, it's illegal, you can say pot. All right, let's see. Uh, I think right on this guy, right? Yeah, it's gotta be. And we can move the animage. That worked out great. I could clear the deck here. I thought clear the deck was Tidehunter's signature card, but I guess it's not. <laughs> How you doing, dude? Uh, pick off. Probably pick off. Where can I do pick off? Oh, I'm the... Uh, uh, silence, okay. Oh, damn, I can't grow. No, I can't grow. I can phase boots them, though, but can I activate items with silence? I think I can't. Can I use active abilities? It does not, yeah, so I can't. But it will give me three health, and it will save me. Info turrets, good. It's like this creep. What does this do? One armor. Fifteen seconds remaining. Wish I could just clear the deck here. All right, let's. One of the phase boosts is going on the tiny to save it, so I can activate the thing next turn. Just gotta figure out what the rest is. Alright, and then we're gonna slay this no. We're gonna Kingfo turret here. And then use it on a Skyra. What does he have? Give an enemy and its neighbors minus three armor. Oh shit. Behold my brilliance. Okay. This changes everything. It's the time to strike. Okay, I still have phase boots. <laughs> so we're gonna phase boots. No, no, we're gonna whirling death. Both of them kill it. I have two mana. Whirling death does it, but so does phase boots. Duel. <laughs> no. But I could phase boots and duel, right? No. No, Whirling Death does it better. Right? Yeah, because it deals two damage. There we go. Perfect. I'm oh, and it kills the creep. Even better. Forgot about that part. And I still have phase boots? That's cool. Perfect. This one out great. Woo! Honestly, I'm considering going all out this lane. All right, so we grow the tiny. Upgrade for one with 11, yeah. Oh, and we get Midas? No. Uh, <laughs> it's close. Gives us five gold back already. I'm thinking about it. Mm, let's try. I don't know if that was a right play. It's so late. I'm gonna have to move the timber over in this lane. Or maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. Or I could just kill this prelix. It's funny, this creeps only doing one damage to me. He's only getting two damage through with this whole plan. Okay. Alright, grow the tiny right away. No, he has car oh no, he's gonna kill me. Don't do it. Don't kill the tiny. <laughs> I can move all three of these cards. I can move them. 
Animage has the blink. Tiny has phase boots. Timber has chainsaw. I have dual too. I should probably just duel this prelix. What is this? Give all item cards in opponent's hand one lock. Play effect. So it's not gonna killing it won't do anything. Okay, that's really not a, a crazy deal at all. Um so how do we, we're gonna duel the drow, right? Yeah. Yeah, duel the drow. No, we need to activate the tiny. Bro, yeah, we gotta activate the tiny. Ooh, that was close. I almost forgot to do that. There we go. All right, so tiny lives. This guy dies. That's good. I could just move him too, but this is a good block. Oh, I could duel too. Dueling is good. Oh no, I'm dying. What am I saying? I can also Mara for a ball there, that uh, Sky Wrath. That's a great play, actually. I don't fall balling that Skyrath. Oh, here we go. No, we just Marrow Fall Brawler this guy right here. Oh no, we could just slay it. Hmm. Alright, I think we slay this guy. We got a duel somewhere, though. Okay. Slay this guy. Then we're gonna duel the drow. Oh, it doesn't kill the drow. I mapped that so bad. Ah, the drow still dies. Now I could phase boost the tiny over here. But it does give it feeble? Oh no, I can activate. What am I? I knew I could activate this. I just decided to do it second because. I can't come up with anything. <laughs> if only. There's nothing oh, you're I can't dead. Hunt. You're dead. <laughs> that was great. You just wasted that four step. See, I acted stupidly to draw out his four step from his hand. I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was a reason. Alright, so he has all of my health mostly low, but I have one of his towers down with blink. I don't like any of this stuff. Let's upgrade. I want to do attack damage. Maybe the magic will be good. It's only 10 gold. We'll be able to buy something else next turn. Oh, I could have got four staff too. Shit. I clicked that too quick. I got to play next turn, it looks like. So maybe I'll just ramp up the middle then. Or the third lane, I mean. Because this will be first lane. So if I can get enough damage here... I can get phase boots. Maybe I can kill the Skyrath. I should be able. To do it. See the problem for is is just he is just not doing enough attack I think. But yeah I think it makes more sense just to do it here. Rather than come over here. He's not doing enough attack. His timber's just doing its job just standing here. <laughs> it's only getting four attack through. I will survive yeah, that's not gonna help you. I could wild board do a lot of damage to this. Oh, no, I'm brawlering the Skyrath. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to bring it down to one attack right away. 
That works. That lowers my mana down considerably. That's okay. Cool, and it'll kill it during battle. Which is really why I'm doing it. I could still wild boar in front of this guy, but that doesn't help me. Just wild boar in front of the prelix. It's my only play, really. And I'll still be able to put down something. He has a play. I'm happy with this all right now. So what, let's see what his play is. He must have something else. He has five mana. If he doesn't, I'm happy. I do, if if he passes or if he plays something, I'll put out the magic and maul on whatever he doesn't kill here. Because he has to have a play. He has to have something. Like the three piercing damage. He doesn't have Zeus, right? I don't think he does. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. All right, so let's the magicking mall. Doesn't matter which uh, legion, because legion's doing less damage to tower. I was trained by the best. There you were. All right, he passed. So I could go to combat. It's 15 damage here. He's winning here. I could do piercing damage with two piercing damage to a unit. So I might as well do that to this creep here. Oh, I could kill this guy. So I could, no, I can't. If I could do it next turn, it would die. Moving this guy doesn't help. I could delay the tower so he doesn't get a TP. That's kind of interesting. Like I could blink timber or just activate timber right here just to block the damage, but I'd rather block the damage here. All right, let's just. All right, we gotta activate this though. 15 seconds remaining. Let's kill the creep. There you go. So does more damage the to the tower. Will die. Just wanna make sure that makes sense. Okay, cool. So this will be first lane next turn. So all I have to do is 13 damage over here. I'm already doing 17. I'll have pick off. I'll have uh, info turret. No, I don't want any of that. I want something to attack. Attack. No, attack. <laughs> the Midas Greaves, are you kidding me? All right, so Animage can blink in. So we're gonna stick him over here. And then Tiny will just put on the creep. That creep's feeble. We'll put him on this creep then. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can still TP over here, any mage. We can do this together. <laughs> we can do this together. I can do this all day. <laughs> okay, Rizrak, think. Think! That was awesome how that happened over here. It looks like because they're sitting in the lane. I have a lot of surprises in store for you. <laughs> the heroes are talking to each other. I like it. They're alive. All right, Screeching Harpy. So Screeching Harpy moves my Legion. That's interesting. I can still do four damage to this guy right here. Let's see. So I definitely want to phase boots tiny. I don't know, it doesn't do much damage. Clear the deck doesn't help. So what do I want to do full damage to? Man, that does such a low amount of damage. So you can phase boots over here and then animate here. That does do a lot more damage. No, it doesn't. 15 seconds remaining. I gotta do something. Five seconds remaining. Put him here. I have a plan. And we can still phase boots him. Basically, we need to get more damage in on it. So. Hmm. 
Hmm, the music. We're just gonna pick off this creep here. And we're gonna send. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Oh, I have four piercing damage. I forgot, or two piercing damage, rather. Oh. I've plotted your death for a while. Choose a caster, do two damage or four damage. Oh, it has an armor! Oh no, I have the active. Right, right, right. I math this out. <laughs> it's piercing damage too. Clear the deck here. We have to clear the deck here. But then it's gonna go first, second. I gotta keep those guys over there to jam it. Okay, that's fine. I wish I had enough mana to cast a creep over here. But I can still uh, phase boots to so save something. Oh, I can Midas Graves just to save the timber. I'm ready for the front lines! We can activate them over, but then we couldn't uh, activate phase boots over here. But phase boots doesn't save anyone over there. What do you do? Four staff? Where? I'm um, not sure what just happened, but that's fine. So we kill this guy. Alright, so as long as I can block the damage here and here, and it only has that we guy, I can win do. over here. Yeah, it's close. It's a close game. Um... Ooh, helm. We gotta take Helm, right? Holy Locket. Whenever an enemy plays an ability or card. No. No, 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 no. Helm. You have to Helm. Or Staff, too. Sure. Oh, Thunder High would have been fun. Alright, so I have no Deploy, but I have Block. And I have TP. Interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Oh, no, I can't move him. I need to block these creeps, but I have a lot of creeps to play, so that's good. And then I should be able to get here and win. Because he can't really increase the attack this much here, I don't think. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. But I feel a little bit more comfortable in my position, I think. Just a little though. It's really close. His Skywrath has no attack. I love it. There's a Mara fall. <laughs> he has no attack. <laughs> doesn't even. Oh man. Doesn't even do it. Oh, Mana Void's gonna be crazy. I don't have a black hero out though. 
Okay, at least that's my only buy card. So I have two creeps, three creeps, to block these creeps. Then I have a blink scroll if I need to block damage here. And I have Helm, where I could steal a creep. So I think I'm in a pretty good position to counter him. Be silent. Hey, things are going to get a little more creative now. So... I can still cast creeps here. No, I can't. Fuck me. I don't think I can solve that. <laughs> right? I can't. I can't activate anything. I can't get anything. Oh no, I can phase boot. I got this, I got this. No, nope. phase boots are inactive. And they're silenced, right? I'm trying to think of how to blink them back. Helm is inactive. These cards I can't cast. 15 seconds remaining. Hot damn. That was a great play. That won yeah, the card. This will be useful. Nope, it won't. <laughs> That's over. GG. Right? Right? I can't even jump him two lanes. Like, I'm thinking how to get the tiny over here. So at least I could activate the helm or something, but you can't. He doesn't move that far. Unbelievable. I think it's just over. There's nothing I can do. I'm just making sure. Force staff doesn't work. Hellbear doesn't work. Oh. GG! You won! GG! Well played. That silence was devastating. GG well played. It's over, just pass. Don't be a dingling. <laughs> Game's over. Good game. I don't understand why people do this. Do they not see the good game? There we go. Good game. All right, it's over. Click the good game button. Thank you. It was a pleasure. All right, I'm going to end the stream right here, I guess. So anyway, I appreciate you guys. Make sure to check out, uh, you know, I Twitch stream all the time and upload this stuff to YouTube. So make sure to check out the links underneath the stream. Appreciate you guys checking it out. He finally hit the game button. All right, GG. Well played. Have a great day.